Good morning from lovely, beautiful Kampot in Cambodia. So I came here last night. Despite having food poisoning, I traveled across the country and um, I didn't have a place booked to stay. It was a pretty bad timing with the food poisoning. <laughs> so when I arrived, I, uh, yeah, I had to just walk around and everything was full. I think I went to about 10 to 15 hotels, all different types, like I didn't care about the money at that point. So I went to all different types of hotels and they were all full. And um, eventually I found something because just one guy was like, okay, yes, maybe around the corner to the right, go outside. And so I went outside around the corner to the right and there was a man came in the street in front of me. Hey, you need a room tonight? And I was just like, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> So anyways, <clears throat> he said like, I have a, he's like, you need a private room or a dorm? And I said, private room? He's like, I have a private room. And I was like, is there a fan? And he said, yes, there's a fan, but it's a capsule room and I, or something, not capsule, but anyways, um, he said, yeah, I have a room, $4. And I was like, done, there's a fan, private room, $4. Perfect. It was the smallest room I've ever slept in. Only had a bed. And honestly, I think it was totally fine. You know, $4. Whatever. So, but anyways, my advice is, yeah. Kampa is quite a popular destination. So, book your accommodation ahead of time. I usually book ahead of time, but I was just trying something out just to see how it went. It ultimately worked out, but uh, yeah, being sick and having my stuff, by the way, I didn't have all my stuff because I asked, I, I booked a bus ticket for today and I asked the bus people if I could um, store my bag. So I stored two of my luggage and even after storing two of my luggage, I still was so weak from being sick that I, we could hardly even carry my shit. But anyways, yeah, that's another tip. Store your luggage at the bus if you have to take a bus the next day.